It's not long now before you'll be taking delivery of your new car, where we'd like to take the opportunity here to brief you on all the main points of the model you've chosen. So, time to look at it in a little more detail. Time to talk you round some of the key elements of the car. Let's start outside. There are parking sensors front and rear, with a visual display in the centre console. The alloy wheels have locking nuts. You'll find your wheel nut key here in the boot, along with your tyre repair kit or spare wheel. The fuel filler is here and is opened by pressing when the doors are unlocked. Fuel tank capacity is 65 litres. The remote key fob has five functions for unlocking and locking the doors, the boot release, the headlight feature and the panic alarm. The key fob can be programmed for single or multi-point entry. The key centrally locks and unlocks the doors and the tailgate and can arm or disarm the alarm. Your vehicle may also have passive keyless entry. Take a seat behind the wheel. Adjustments for the steering wheel can be made using manual adjustment or via a control on the steering column if this option is fitted. Mirrors can be adjusted using the control here on the driver door. Driver and passenger have separate controls for electronic seat adjustment if it's fitted. The smart key must be in the vehicle with the ignition on if you're to make seat changes. The controls for that on the outer edge of the seat. Start the evoke by depressing the clutch in a manual or pressing the brake in an automatic and then press the start button. Release the parking brake in the centre console and you're ready to go. The lights are easily activated here. Wipers, main beam and the indicators are on the left and right of the steering wheel and the horn is here. Cruise control is just off the steering wheel and the gear selector is down to your left, this circular dial. The hazard warning lights are operated by a press of this button and another press will turn them off. The electric windows have a one-touch open and close function and are also lockable. In the event you need to call emergency services, the SOS button can be operated from here. This car's in-control infotainment system here on the central display has a wide range of functions including radio, media, navigation if fitted and Bluetooth phone connectivity. If you wish, on delivery your driver will connect your phone to the car. Here in the back there's plenty of room for backseat passengers. Isofix child seat fastenings are also available. Childproof door locks, should you need them, are here on the inside of the rear doors. Let's pull the bonnet release in the passenger footwell and take a look at the engine. The key areas being the oil dipstick, oil filler cap, the washer fluid, and coolant reservoirs. For diesel versions you will also find the add blue top-up point here. Service intervals are every 16,000 miles or annually. If you do need any further information then do contact us. So there you have it. Uh, we'd be absolutely delighted to answer any further questions you might have about your new car and we're very proud to have been chosen to supply this vehicle and we want your ownership experience to be a memorable one.